Hi everyone, Amy Kennedy here, ceramic artist from Melbourne, Australia. A couple of months ago, I ran a writing program for artists and makers with a great group of people. And in that program, I shared the first two chapters of Peter Albo's book, which is called Writing with Power. And it was such a good first two chapters, I'm trying to get my words, because he so clearly and brilliantly talked about, wrote about why it's so important for us to separate our creating from our criticizing. And I sort of know this stuff, you know, this is good to do, but he hit it home in such a great way with great writing. And using my own words here, he wrote about how when we are creating, it's really important to be fully immersed in the creative act, to see where things lead, to be very open, to try new things, experiment and explore, and to not let our criticizing weasel its way in too early into that process, but to leave some time and space after creating and then bring in our criticizing, you know, our judgment, our analysis, our critical thinking, our revision, our restructuring, our practical things, but to keep them somewhat separate. That we need both, of course, we need creating and we need criticizing and they enhance each other, but the separation can enhance them even more. It's really interesting stuff. And it was really illustrated to me well when I had a conversation with someone that was involved in this building project. And they told me this story where the creative team for the project had this grand vision to create a building that rose up into the sky. And as it rose up, it would twist into the air. They took this vision to the engineering team. Uh, the engineering team said, yep, this is great, but can we do it without the twist? Because that's gonna be really hard. But the creative team said, nope, this is what we want, make it happen. And they did make it happen and apparently it's a quite amazing building uh, that's in reality now. And it's just such a good illustration that the creative team weren't hemmed in by thinking what is possible with engineering, what is possible with what's been done before. And they could think really big. Then they transitioned to the criticizing stage and they were able to problem solve that in that stage. So in Peter Albo's book, Writing with Power, he's talking about it that process in relation to writing because he's writing about writing but of course it's applicable to so many creative pursuits you know when we're making our art and craft in the studio and also when we are creating anything new really I was thinking about this in the last few days because me and my sister-in-law Jess we're putting together a one-day workshop for artists and creative people to help them transition into the new year and we are doing this Peter Elbow process. We are creating at the moment. So we're thinking big, we're throwing ideas around what's gonna be really useful, beneficial for people, what's gonna be fun for them, what's gonna be fun for us. And we're really creating and very creative. And then we'll be moving into the criticizing stage where we'll be really thinking about the plan of the day, the time frame, how we're gonna deliver that, all the nitty gritty detail. But we're not letting that stuff infiltrate the creating stuff too early on to hem us in. So yeah, the first two chapters of this book are really good. It's Peter Albo, Writing with Power. I uh, highly recommend them. And if you are interested to know more about our workshop, Jess and I's workshop, which is coming up soon, where we're in the creating stage, we're gonna be moving into the criticizing stage, um, send me a direct message and I can put you on the list and get the details out to you when they're ready. So thank you for listening. I hope this is useful, some food for thought, and I will see you next week.